Welcome back to RTTV's coverage of Vienna Spring Break. We are here in the aforementioned Austrian capital, bringing you coverage of the Open Bronze Medal game with Vienna's hometown, the Big Easy, taking on Costa Rica Grandes from Rimini on Italy's east coast. Benji Reese alongside Corey Sostray and uh, Rimini bringing the hype as the first pull goes down the other end and we're underway here. As the Austrians start an offense. And Benji, as always this whole weekend, I'm very excited for this game as well too. As you can tell from the semifinals earlier today, both teams brought the intensity. It came down just to universal on both points. So I can expect the same for this. There's going to be a stoppage down for you, maybe a bit. It is all very congested in that space. No, I no, can't say I'm a massive fan of that spacing as it's currently constituted. And also just seeing that we've had both teams stream today and just kind of seeing both of them as well too. We know Costa Rica Grande is a team that have pace to them. They're athletic, they're a young bunch of, you know, young group. And so they can bring the intensity. But then you also have the big easy that we saw earlier that also lay out for everything. They bring the intensity, they can jump, they can run just with them. So it's going to be interesting to kind of see these tacticians go along each other. Now that's a miscommunication and oh well, Costa Rica Grandes have a plan in mind and they very nearly got away with it. Into double coverage, the heart still got into the receiver's hands, just couldn't quite close them in time. And Benji, what do you think about the mentality of this game going in for the players? Kind of, you know, just being so close to the final as well. What do you think that's going through their minds? Enjoy it. Enjoy the occasion, in my opinion, as this deep put goes deep. It's looking for Bach. And he's going to catch it just shy of the end zone as well. The lefty dishing into the end zone for Schmid. Big easy hole to begin the game. Yeah, I think you've just got to enjoy it. Yes, it's not the game you wanted to be in. But a bronze medal at a tournament like this is still a really creditable weekend. I completely agree with you on that one too. And Costa Rica Grandes, you know, as we saw before, just bringing the vibes, having some nice Superman <laughs> dances on the, just getting pumped, just happy to be here. And even then too, this is a great learning opportunity from two top tier teams. Yeah, the, the uh, what you learn about, you know, yourself in games like these can prove crucial later down the line. A lovely little lefty dish off. A little deep dish pizza right there, huh? I don't know what I think about deep dish pizza. What's your favorite kind? Of pizza. Yeah. Pizza. Yeah. You can never go wrong. I mean, deep dish is like, it's not really pizza, is it? It's like a soup. Yeah. A pizza soup. I'll take that all day. Especially right now in this cold. <laughs> you know what? Actually, you like a big old pizza with grease coming through the box. I think I'd take that about now, to be honest. Yeah. Here's Sparholtz with the pool. First O point for Costa Rica Grandes. In the all white up against their opponents from Austria, the Big Easy in green. Fakes the big. Thinks better of it. Now goes underneath. Rimini working it nicely. Doesn't like the downfield, so they're swinging it across the pitch, utilizing the full width of the playing field. This one zings to the back of the end zone, where it finds its target for one all. And what I like about this Costa Rica Grandes team is they space very well. They give their players a lot of room, and that's the danger, is that they can attack from anywhere. The handlers can kind of move around each other. They have space to do that. But as you saw for the score, too, even with the stack being that deep, they can do some hucks, and they have the ability to kind of catch it from anywhere. They do indeed. There is a, a lot of athleticism out there on the field. Yeah. In this contest, an awful lot of athleticism. As the big easy O gets some instruction, you can see what they have to offer on offense as well too. See what their coaches can cook up. What are you making? I was thinking about eggs. You're vegan. There's vegan eggs. Eggs? Do you know what I think about that? Actually, not too too bad. Oh, I enjoy it. It's a pretty good substitute. 
I'll take your word for it. Big Easy now coming back out on offense. The Italians turned them on the first point, but they couldn't make it count. Another pick down for it. Hodorica getting some instruction from the sideline. Oh! oh. <laughs> Unorthodox, but it's working. Forcing Cole if he's oh. allowed to go backwards, and that swing doesn't hit the target. Just getting a hand in there from Coderico Grandes. A big easy play, nice defense though. Another break opportunity now for the Italians. Around, want to continue into the end zone, not there. So running it between the handler set, those little give goes. Trying to get that motion towards the end zone. The up line, defender committed, but it didn't go. So the swing in across the pitch, makes that athletic grab look easy. One, two, break to Rivini. They're up 2-1. Just swinging it across from back and forth, <laughs> from cone to cone, just punching it in. That time, a ruthless after the turn. I know just Nick has disappeared. I wonder if he's gone to find some sandwiches. Not a bad job at all. That's not, kinda not that I'm hinting at anything. <laughs> if you hear this, Nick. So Big Easy will have to pick themselves up after getting broken. First break of the game. They were turned on the first O point. They got it back, but no such luck on this occasion. And Minji, I just also think too, kind of at this point of the, the tournament, you just energy's getting kind of low. You know, you're tired, you're ready to go home, relax, get some stretching in. But these games provide good opportunities to kind of learn and kind of see what else you can bring to the table as a team too. So I'm expecting the Big Easy to come out at this point, light some things on fire. Not literally, of course. <laughs> no, 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 not literally. They might, have, they might have a bit of a struggle with that, given how wet the ground is now. Another aeroplane launches in the distance. Maybe Ryanair. It says Star Wars on it. Oh, well, I can't say that. We're not sponsored. Yeah. Popular international space franchise. <laughs> Big Easy making this offense look easy. Struck out rising a little bit, but they get the reset into the center. No continuation pass, at least not at the first attempt. But the second does open up pets. Pets wants to break the mark around. And on a high stall again, they're able to reset this. Reset that stall count. Inside, nice little inside channel that the big easy furrow. Hochmeyer onto the end zone line, still not quite in. Krukenhauser with two receivers there. Very nearly got in each other all the way. Schmidt couldn't get there. But it didn't matter that he couldn't because his teammate could. And that will uh, bring Big Easy level. I'm trying to see who it was who caught that grab. I think it might have been Ferdinand Ace. We can see it right here on the replay. Now as we went to the beginning of the point two, the Big Easy, calm as you like. We were expecting that fire to kind of bring out from them. And that was just a, a great way to Ooh, look at that wow, <laughs> that came <laughs> very ball. close to a knee in the back of the head. Extremely close. You want to see better communication there, because otherwise that could have gone very, very dangerous. Nonetheless, the big easy look to get a break on defense. And Costa Rico Grande's look to punch it in on no. It's a Costa Rico player in front of us with a kinesio tape strapped down his left thigh onto his calf. People packing up their tents for the weekend behind us. One of the advantages of having these tournaments in Central Europe is that it means lots of teams don't have to fly. It means you can, uh, A, cut down on environmental costs, and B, again, financially a little bit more affordable, especially when you can have camping on site. Here's Rubini, brilliant grab under tight pressure. Stays focused to find a reset. 
puts the deep shot up. This is going to invite Spa Holtz to bid. Calantes in the intermediary, he couldn't get there. But the big figure of Spa Holtz is more than easy enough for him. And you can see these players throwing their bodies on the line too. That's, look at that physical. Over the top, the hammer right on the bullseye. Letting it fly. And usually we see Sparholz receiving the hucks. This time he's putting them up and it's knocked <laughs> away. The two of them stride for stride, shoulder for shoulder. And there might be a bit of a stoppage here for a call. Oh, that's close right there too. Great defensive Ooh. battle right there. Yeah, and this is what I like. If you're not sure about something, a situation like that, make the call, discuss it, because you could always say, you know what, fair enough, I retract it. Turnover stands. That was a great use of the hand motion right there too. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see it, literally. Makes our job so much easier. <laughs> Back in for the Italians. Low break into the center of the pitch out of this horizontal set. Downfield, Motors past this matchup. But they're looking in the handler set. Still count rising, able to get it off. And now trying to keep this moving quickly, blading that upline throw. Player's got to go here. Yes, no, they holster it. <laughs> it was so open, too open perhaps. Suspiciously open. And travel called. And what a beautiful inside throw right there on that replay. Love, love an inside out, mate. Absolute slap for it. God. Like I reiterate too, just look at how much space they have to circulate on these cuts. I just love it. Coming underneath on this near sideline. The lefty looks inside. Spot holds oh, with the mid oh, and the layout oh. catch block. <laughs> and then just like, no, 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 stay calm, stay calm. <laughs> Which is the sensible thing to do if the boring thing. In my opinion, he should have jacked it. I was about to say, he was just super chilly with that though. Oh my gosh, can we get. Look at this. How's that for composure? What a catch as well. You can't teach height. He was a step behind and still got there. Oh my gosh. And also, I love that he's catching it, because even if, because as we saw yesterday, even if you get a miraculous tip block against Costa Rica Grandes, <laughs> it's never over until the disc is in your hand. I still, I don't think I've ever seen a crazier play than the one we streamed yesterday. Keep a lookout for the highlight reel. As the Big Easy hammer to the back of the end zone, and they earn their break back. We're on serve now with the Big Easy up 3-2. What a point for the Big Easy right there. First, no, Pat. You, first you got the D. And then you threw it away, you're, excuse me, you threw it deep and then got um, contested in the end zone right there. You stop Costa Rica Grandes again with an impressive layout D. Oh my gosh. And then just a hammer to end it all. Talk about flair. Nice little up line there. And then with the mark behind, easy to sit this hammer towards that far side. The defender's always going to be a step behind when you hit that break. Some would say big easy. Some would. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you have it. I appreciate that. I don't get many. Give it time, you'll get there. Just getting some of our friends on the sideline right there. Production crew having some fun as well too. Really? Didn't think that was allowed. This is a very serious job. But it's absolutely not a holiday. And I maintain that. What a camera view from that, too, to see that pull from all the way. Shout out to Felix. Best cam one in the biz. Rimini with the fake. Blades around towards the far side of the field. The easy defense is smothering the Italians at the moment. There's a nice inside. That might break it ready. open a little. 
there's the big. That really breaks it open, but it's going to be too far, even for the athleticism of these Cocha Rica Grandes players. We were all getting excited for that one. That is correct. I'm getting a little flustered here. The, <laughs> the sideline talk is getting on the camera. I was looking behind me, seeing if there was people behind me. On the sideline, Big Easy looking to extend their advantage with another break here. And they've got it off the line well, all the way across the field. Now the shot's going to go to Sparholz. He's still not in just yet, but he's got his choice. And he flips it to Andreas Skyloriotsis. And it's another break for the Big Easy. It's a couple on the bounce. From 2-1 down, they've restored well, and overtaken their opponents to go 4-2 up. And as the Big Easy are finding their rhythm, Costa Rica Grandes might have to start finding their rhythm too. Before this thing gets out of hand like we keep talking about, it's just the Big Easy have had some nice breaks right there, as you can see on this throw. That's it's cheeky. It's exactly what you want, silky smooth. And it's choice of options in the end zone. Exactly. And so now Costa Rica Grande is going on offense. Just kind of dig deep, get back in the game. Find some, find some fiery passion in there. So Big Easy opening up a little bit of an advantage here over their Italian opponents. This is something as well, last game of a long weekend. This will be the sixth game for both sides. And for, and for the Big Easy, the fact that they've been able to sleep in their own beds <laughs> is, is not something to be sniffed at. See the spa holts on the replay wrenching that spin pull deep, but uh, what's his best effort? As we sit here and just kind of wait some discussions about where the pull comes in. I think, Benji, this is just a good point to kind of just take it all in, you know, just... Drink it in. Yeah. What an experience we've had this weekend. It's not been bad. Not at all. And again, thanks to our Patreon subscribers there, too. Yeah, all our patrons who are allowing us to make the events like these happen. And it looks like the pool must not have come back in bounds because they've got really good positive field position here. There's the reset unleashing from the front of the stack. Goes for the inside break. Wow, the defender was right there. But Faxman couldn't quite get close enough. They're going to sling the blade down the sideline. This will invite oh! pressure and climbing the ladder immaculately for the grab. Good. God, he nearly touched the heavens on that one. He got up there. My goodness. I mean, on a scale of here to there, how up there was he? I'd say there. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree, yeah. Just see if I can uh, spy the player's uh, name on the side of his shirt. As we can see here, the Big Easy even tried to poach it, but just, oh. God, up there, high point, textbook. It's the number 96, Ruscello. Who, uh, tell you what. Worry not for the worry not for the worry not for the fact that it's ver a very great day. Trying to make a really good poster on someone's wall. <laughs> Sierra Costa Rica just still kind of waiting for the hand, the big easy. Put their hand up. Look at that audience right there. 
So this is the last round of Open Games, with the exception of the final, which takes place on the streaming pitch and on Ulti TV after the conclusion of this game, starting at 1.30 local time. It's just over an hour. Here's the put from the Big Easy. They've got a target. Is he going to come back in bounds? Not, I was going to say not quite, not close. Potential foul on the throw here. So there's going to be a little bit of discussion. If I had to put some money on it, I would think it would be from the contact of the follow through. It looked like, yep. Yeah, he's trying to get that foot up for the foot block. Yeah, and exactly just kind of seeing their hand motions right there. He's saying that foot kind of restricted him from the full motion of the release, and that's why I didn't come back into play. It's an interesting one. He certainly contorted his body a bit. The inner heckler in me is it really wants to be a really wants to be a, 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 a nuisance right now. <laughs> Have a fight, see who's best. Have a fight, see who's best. <laughs> Looks like a contested foul. <laughs> so they just will stay with the big easy, although a lot further down the pitch. <laughs> Just going to go across to the middle of the pitch. Schmid makes a big gainer on that undercut. And Le Kuchenhauser takes off deep, but instead they're going back into the backfield for Kölbichler. Especially on this point, so you can hear, see a few slips and a few hammies. It's going to go long <laughs> over the top and really well defended. Foul uncontested, or strip uncontested. Goal stands, good spirit there from both sides. Big easy, go back 5-3 up. So look here, the big easy just giving some high fives all around too. Going for the foot block again. And then just a hammer again. 3v4, why not? Down this sideline, executed really well. He does it like he has it, to be fair. And I think the defender knows it because, you know, immediately signaled the uncontest. Right. Great sportsmanship all weekend. And we reiterate that you love to see it. You really do. That's what it's all about. Great ultimate, great sportsmanship, showcasing what makes our game so good. Great time, great vibes. Not that I'm biased or anything. <laughs> that ball goes, it's going to land out of bounds. So Costa Rica. Stride to the brick box, bring it back into play. And well, they're not hanging about. Looking deep and knocked away well by Montgomery. Just didn't quite get enough on that one. And that was so quick too. I turned, I looked away just to see who where Nick was. And lo and behold, another hucker right in front of us. I think Ferrugia is the intended target. Pass going underneath. And again at the second attempt. Now the Big Easy putting it, looking to extend that advantage. Crowd underneath it. Player hits the ground and is going to call the foul. And as we can see here, just a lot of players crowding the disc. Rain beginning to come back down a little bit more heavy again. I mean, there's just a maelstrom of players underneath that one. Yeah. As 
we can see just some of the discussions going on about the foul call and everything along those lines. So I assume it's more just kind of where the contact came. Did somebody kind of invade the space? Who's entitled to the disc, et cetera, et cetera? It's always tricky when there's that many players underneath to try and pick out exactly what's happened. Especially in a cluster that big, too. That's so the decision, foul, retracted, turnover stands. Productive discussion, good use of hand signals, good spirit all round. And even him, Benji here in the booth getting some practice with his hand signals too then. Mate, I love him. It's the best thing Wooftoff ever did. Not one of them anyway. It's been the most useful addition to the rules since I've uh, since I've been doing since I've been playing or since I've been doing this job. And Puerto Rico Grande's here just looking for kind of an answer. Again, they started out strong in the game and then just kind of been a little bit lull to the big easy offense and defense for a few breaks. I can't remember which boxer said it. Maybe Mike Tyson? Everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Yep. And that's what's metaphorically happened. This Jello faked the big and he got Calantes biting on it. Pick. So that one nice and early. And from the last broadcast we had too, talking about kind of the weather impeding for <laughs> around 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. It's kind of starting to come down a little bit more too. Yeah, half 12, so it's split the difference. Getting some more of an audience back here. Always love people kind of seeing what we do behind the scenes. Yeah, opening the kimono a little bit, so to speak. <laughs> Other corporate speak is available. And there, Puerto Rico Grande is punching it in right there for a much needed score, keeping it close. Trying to get their, uh, trying to get their spirits up. It sounds a little bit not as full throated as it has been, but I can imagine you're still a little bit down in this game, and the fact that it's uh, cold and wet doesn't it makes it it does make it difficult to start that fire, both <laughs> literally and metaphorically. Yes, I completely agree. Again, it's last game of the day, last game of the tournament for you. Probably ready to go eat some hot lunch, maybe some dinner, kind of depending on what you do. Get a nice cup of hot cocoa, tea, coffee. But we got a game to play. Oh, yeah, we do. Hands up, pull ready to go. Coming deep. And honestly, it looked like a little slip on that pull. Conditions coming in hand again. Puerto Rico Grandes throwing a little cup action out there. I like Tony. it. Switch things up a little bit. You expect a team like this with the, with athleticism out of the ears to uh, to always go one on one, but change things up throw something different at your opponents, see how they deal with it. And the Big Easy just continue to swing it, continue to rotate, making these Puerto Rico Grande players work a little bit more for it. Going all the way across the pitch. Yeah, so far the Big Easy, I've not really seen flustered by this at all. Oh! Well, the commentator's curse doesn't exist. <laughs> But again, you can add that to the show reel if you believe that it does. And now we see too the big easy offense just coming out in a matched defense. Guess it's Cota Rico Grande's team. Expect a few deep shots here, yeah? Would not surprise me. Cota Rico were thinking about it. But that time. The decision making went in the opposite way. Just going to be a brief stoppage here. Discussion of maybe a foul downfield. Check back in. Wants the reset, but the force did a good job at stopping it at the first attempt, but it goes at the second. Oh, no, 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 no. 
towards the near side, bubbled, caught, yes, no. Just wouldn't quite stick in there. It was a one, two, three bobble too. It was there, it was there, it was there, and it was gone. It was there until it wasn't. It just looked like it's getting a little slippery out there too. Big, easy, nice around. Here's Schmid. Might go back around across and towards the center of the pitch. That is indeed the option that they take with Bach. Puerto Rico making them back it up just a little bit, and it looks like a foul call. Yeah, maybe pick downfield, at least some sort of stoppage. By release towards the near side. They're slowing them down, even if they've not 100% stopped them yet. This one goes across the pitch. He's going to require the bid, but he never really had his footing for it. And he slips, and Rimini get the disc back. Looks like there's a slight hesitation right there too that just impacted that. And there's the shot. Well, no hesitation there in ripping that one deep. Ah! What a play <laughs> by Max Schmid. Hot damn. Just the ability to leave your feet right there. The sideline likes that one. They're looking around the replay monitor. And you know what? Why wouldn't they? Just gets the kind of, it has that ridiculous, like the ridiculous, you know, puffing out of the cheeks. Like, yeah, that was that was something a little bit special. What can they do with it over the first receiver of Schmid, not the second. Schmid's gonna continue to try and get the bookends here. He's on the end zone line. Could get double happiness of sorts, but maybe not because it is gonna go all the way back. There's a call. There is indeed a call. And Nick has delivered sandwiches. The plate of Davis Juniors has arrived. Corey is munching his way through a vegan sandwich. Here's the replay again. You see it went over the first receiver, but the backup was there. It's a call right from the initial throw. Still kind of waiting on the discussion here. Again, it's taking a taking a little bit of time here out of the game. Yeah, I don't mind. Of course, it's important that the most important thing is that the players come to a, a resolution that they're all happy with. Exactly. Gives me another opportunity to go bite my sandwich. It's one of those things as well where uh, obviously Italian and German, not necessarily languages that share too much in common. I say as someone who does not really speak any other languages. Seeing it again on the replay. And I'm not necessarily seeing what the call is. I'm with you on that, Benji. I'm not really understanding. But it is a lengthy conversation. The rain's coming down a bit more heavily now. I think some of the other players are saying, look, this discussion's gone, gone on long enough. Let's, uh, let's come to a resolution and get it back in play. Not least because it's getting cold and wet out there. As you can see, players are like running away <laughs> from the buckets of rain pouring down, trying to find shelter. And it is absolutely, I mean, pouring doesn't cover it. It's not just cats, dogs, it's cats, dogs, and every other animal under the sun right now. Torrential downpour. And Big Easy can't retain possession. What can Rimini do? Another stoppage. Welcome to the tent, everyone. Got a big group here, yeah? 
I mean, I'm all right. It's keeping me and my stuff dry. So uh, yeah, we take those. Check back in, just dumping it on the sideline. I think now Nick's going to really test how waterproof my coat is. Nice oh, layout there, like to the ground. Pull that cable as well. The bag. Slow. Court show. We've, we've switched temporarily to the low cam. As that just goes towards the back of the end zone. Corner the second attempt, but I think he's out the back. Ah. What an effort. And you can see there just how heavy the rain is. Again, a shout out to Mike right now. Just no coat, shorts, short sleeves out there providing content for all of us. I didn't realize Vienna had a monsoon season. I don't have, there was some tape on the table, do you have some? Okay. Big Easy trying to pick their way through a ribbony zone with the, with the elements really uh, battling against the uh, offensive players here. It's a look that works for me. And as we can see here, a big zone point, if you had any doubt about it. One of those, a uh, little bit of a hell point, somewhat of a turn fest. Players now slipping all over the field. Towards the far side, the big easy. Center back in towards the center to guard. Continuation comes to Kirby. Now they found a little bit of rhythm. As Rimini transition to one on one. And it just about does the job. But I think there's another foul called. We need a bit of cardboard as well. Okay. Very much all hands on deck to make sure the equipment stays safe and dry. Nick now repurposing a cardboard box. High stool, they're trying to blade towards the back of the end zone. But they get a player working their way through. The 33 shirt, Amarius Hochmeyer. And after one hell of a point, the Big Easy regain a two point advantage. It's 6 4, they lead. I completely agree. That was a gritty point. Just the elements really kicking in right here. Again, as a player, as a supporter on the sidelines of your team, you're trying to find a way to stay warm, but you're also trying to support your teammates. You have to be everybody still kind of getting that mental toughness in there. And as you can see, the big easy doing some sprints right there in the end zone, trying to get warmed up for, <laughs> for this raid. But nonetheless, we still have a game here, folks. It's only a one-point game. Puerto Rico Grande's four. The Big Easy. Oh nope, never mind. Six. Two-point game. Still, still a game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, got cardboard. Just stick that on for a hood. Despite numerous turns, Puerto Rico couldn't get the break that would bring the team's level. So now the Italians send their O line out. We're on the far sideline by Paddy. Played over the top, finds the receiver Turchi in space. Continuation goes to Ruscello. Now Fantini. Dumps the disc back. Find the space downfield. Over the top, but it's not there. Maybe just got a little bit too greedy with that shot. Yeah. She can see players just slipping and sliding all across the pitch. One second, one second. Looks more like a water park yeah, out here. I will leave it here. Get the slip and slide out. 
It seems like out in nature's own right here. I released the spar holtz using that long reach to, to his one, advantage. And then a high release lefty there. Finds pets. Swing in the backfield, back to Sparholtz. Across oh. the line, brilliant bid. Comes it there just shy from Ferruccio. He was right there too, that was super close. Skolorioltis continues to pets. Big Easy aiming for this three point advantage. It would be the largest lead of the game. The largest lead for either side so far. And they're going to see if they can do it with the hammer to Sparholtz on the far side. If in doubt, bang it to the big guy. 7-4 the score. I was going to say, when in doubt, hammer it out. <laughs> that works just as well, too. And what a decision to throw it. I've seen a few hammers in these kind of conditions, too. And typically, I'd go right. I wouldn't throw those throws just because once you have that rotation, it's kind of awkward to catch. You have to use more of your hands, your body, and that. And then with the disc being so slippery. But hey, when you got hands, you have teammates that you can trust. Why not? And now I'm doing my due diligence too, as a partner to allow Benji to eat his sandwich. It's warm, it's good, thumbs up. And so as we kind of just patiently wait for the next point, at the big easy break here, they can go to half. Up by four. The game is just kind of slowly creeping away, but it's not done yet. Which is again with these kind of these kind of predictions, I should say, with the rain, the forecast, because now it went from pouring buckets about 10 minutes ago to kind of just cooling down back to the little drizzle. As you can see, the dark hound kind of in the air, but the disc also in the air as well. It would not surprise me if more downpours are incoming. We hope not, but if it is, we're always ready for it. Here's the big look from Turchi. He's got to receive a deep. Can he climb the ladder to get it? Of course he can. It's Fantini. Fantini with a high release towards the back of the end zone, but it's knocked away in the corner of the second attempt. Ferrugio is incredibly frustrated. But you've got to credit the defense there of Adrian Colantes. Brilliant 2v2 defense to get that tip D back. Running some weave in the handler space. Pets takes off deep, but comes under nice and early and he gets it on the far side. Another player's taken off deep, this time it's Colantes. But still the big easy content to play it around their handling pool. It was the far oh. side. Crazy, crazy good bid from Bruschello, but it doesn't get there. He got up for that bid too. Good focus by. Uh, it is uh, Sky Loriotis. And Big Easy, you've got timeouts to use, and now it's as good a time as any. Might as well. What an incredible replay there. He got up. That bid, honestly. Probably like chest level, maybe shoulder level of the big easy player. Although I must admit, I'm not sure if I was if I was playing, I'm not sure I'd want a timeout because it is chuffing freezing. <laughs> I just want to keep going. Yeah, keep it going. <laughs> keep the keep the body warm. Keep the blood pumping. And it looks like on the other field that game ended 15-2 to Foy over Outsiders. And that was a little bit less than 45 minutes, just about. Yeah, ending this. You always the, the, that's that's the mantra that you want to end the you want to end you want to end an event on an odd number because it means you won. <laughs> Even though that annoys me because I don't like odd numbers, but the theory is sound. Yes. Did Mike just not bring a jumper, or was that his jumper over the uh, over the pineapple tank top he was wearing <laughs> earlier? <laughs> 
So this is a is a crazy good tank top, by the way. But he got it from a guy when he was in. They were in Mexico, I think, for PAUC in 2015. He's this guy, Lord of the Might was, was like basically bursting out of this tank top. Was like, I went up to him, was like, oh, I like your shirt, mate. And he was like, all right, you can have it then. And he just got given a free shirt. Do you know what? Fair enough. We take those. We need to then Mike showcasing that. <laughs> we wish we could put the camera on the shirt, but right now we might have to do that at the next break. Yeah, I don't think it's ever going to be quite warm enough for that again today. We hope, but probably not. And you see both teams coming out of the timeout. The big easy with the disc. Looks like they have maybe a little isolation here. Yeah, you mentioned earlier a break here. We'll take them into half up 8 4. It looks like I might have been wrong. The scoreboard updated to 4 6. Uh, I think it is 7 4. Yeah, I think it is. Oh. Someone's about to get zapped, huh? We'll just have to work out who started at which end zone. There you go. Here's the deep hurt. Calantes has got it for the bookends. And what bookends it is right there. Big easy, using that timeout strategically, walking up the field, and then for the great, great deep look in the half. And honestly, I will say, Benji, with this rain coming down, it is great bid weather. Pitch is a little bit softer, a little bit wetter, so you can kind of glide a little bit there. Well, rather you than me. That is true. Well, I'm happy staying under the tent, to be honest. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'd rather have the headphones on right now. And as you can visibly see right there, the range picking back up again. Yep. As we can assume, it's just going to probably be like that most of the day for the rest of the tournament. I was not promised this. I was not either. But even with these conditions, you can still see the big easy smiles on the faces. Energy pumping. They just love to be here. They just love to perform. Uh, you sin when you're winning. You sing, you sing when you're winning. As I've heard so many times on the terraces. There's a big easy player with seagull socks on. I'm trying to find that. Seagulls being the women's team of Hamburg rather than just seagulls generally as an animal. <laughs> I appreciate the clarification too. I forget what you're putting down. I, I used to live in Brighton. Seagulls, absolute terrible people. Birds. My second year, we had seagull. <laughs> we had seagulls living in our chimney. Oh my goodness. It was all right. My my bedroom was on the ground floor, but those on the top floor, not not ideal. A absolutely suboptimal. It's about saving me. Imagine waking up to that. No, strongly not recommended. Here we go, second half underway. Quick tap time as most teams want to get out of the rain soon. But this game is not over yet. Puerto Rico Grandes looking to put some points on the board. Here's Turk Tree going to curl this one down the sideline where he's got from his cello. And if you can see with that foot block right there, a little bit of pitch coming up too by the camera. Corey's still bringing the excitement. Trying to at least. No place I'd rather be. Well, you don't need to bring the excitement when they do that. Oh. The Big Easy are on one today defensively, aren't they? It looks like an injury call as well, too, to kind of slow the play. But look at that. Both teams throwing their bodies around. And as you mentioned, it's perfect layout weather. It is. Looks like it's kind of just talking the injury right now, I believe. 
And we can resume play. And here we see the Big Easy looking to increase their lead right now. This game seems so close for the first few points, and then somehow, seemingly out of nowhere, the Big Easy have pulled a fast one on their opponents. That's going to go underneath all that throw. It's going to sail, and it's macked oh. on. The hand gets in there, and it does enough to stop it going to hand. Fabry didn't get all of it, but he got enough. Tidia goes to Turchi. Coming underneath, and there's a big hand in there from Sean Montgomery. And as we see, the deep look took two defenders right there. He's looking up. He waves it off, passes it back to the handlers. And as you can see right here, footing is really slick. Most cuts are resulting in slips. Most defenders slipping, trying to catch defenders, or offenders, excuse me. Yeah, if you can really get your opponent like off balance and lunging with those changes of direction, it's pretty easy to make them slip and give yourself a nice amount of space. It'd be a great time to have like a soundboard with some wacky sounds. Someone get the Benny Hill theme on. <laughs> As that shot to the end zone for Sky Loriotis gives the Big Easy yet another break, and now they're up 9-4. And after the fire, the fireworks we saw from Coach Rico Grandes earlier in the tournament, under the rain now, they've turned into a little bit of a damp squib. Easy as that. Yeah. Stop rotation, catch, let it go, come back in the tent. Brain cycle repeat. And as we see here too, Puerto Rico Grandes, even though they are down by five points, still the team is huddling up everybody, kind of trying to get involved, trying to pick each other up, find some bright spots within here. Also, just trying to keep them warm. Yeah. <laughs> Mike's trying to find a veggie sandwich. That Mike, toasty in hand, returns to the desk as Rimini returns to offense. This goes under for Rodriguez. He establishes his pivot in bounds and he roasts it deep. And his receivers roasted his matchup as well. Fantini with the Jets. First point to finally stop that bleeding. And the look on his face says it all. You know, it's, it was a good point, but it's, uh, they're going to need a few more of those to come back here. 9-5, the big easy lead. As you can see, just smiles all around. People are still trying to find high points in this low weather. And it's easy in a game like this, you know, rain pouring down. It's getting a little chilly out here. The score's kind of getting a little bit out of hand just to be like, you know what, I'm, we're done with this. But Puerto Rico Grande is still trying to keep it in. And the big easy just smiles around. We saw. <laughs> it is very much, if you're not on the pitch, you are uh, under the tent. Seeking shelter somewhere, raincoats, umbrellas, tents, the bathroom maybe. If you want to hide in a portal at the end of a weekend tournament, be my guest. <laughs> I've actually had one of those situations where we had a tournament like that. It was just pouring rain like this all weekend, and it was super cold. And we had some teammates just kind of hide in the port of loot. Half the team, essentially. It's just warmer in there. I, I can't blame them. I have tournaments to sleep in the bathroom, but in actual buildings. <laughs> Here's the shot going deep. Looking for A's, and A's has it. The big is easy again. And the five-point advantage is restored at 10-5. We 
see here the nice OI flick. Look the inside too. Yeah, it just floats and tails towards that far side. Talking about photographer on the far side. Not only the Camera awareness covers. to catch the disc, but also the awareness to miss the net too. Don't want to end up in the footy goal. Yeah. Do we do we look warm and comfortable and cozy? We are. I think I, I think I understand what Felix has got his eyes on. <laughs> the Sammies, yeah. I don't think it was the sandwiches. Ah. I think it was the things behind the sandwiches. <laughs> ah. Ah. Yes. An inspiration as well too. Once again, it is absolutely tipping it down. Paul's gonna go through the end side of the end zone, land out of bounds, and will be bricked. I'm sure when I looked at the forecast earlier in the weekend, didn't say anything about rain. Even the forecast this morning and last night didn't say anything about rain today. It said on Tuesdays. So I was expecting a nice, beautiful day like yesterday, but hey. Tuesday looks a lot like Sunday. It's hard to say. I'd be hypocritical not to say, take what the defense gives you. Oh, all that disc bladed early, but Ruscello was there. Playing it short to Fantini. Fantini thinks about the shot in and he does find it. And the second time of asking to Ruscello. 10-6, the big easy lead. Again, Costa Rica Grandes. They found a bit more form on offense, but they need to generate some turns on defense and put them in. Precisely here. And even then, with this rain coming down, maybe the games to come, you can see a little bit more zone, tactically defense. But for right now, these guys are just having fun, you know, just playing some match defense, throwing some hammers, throwing some deeps, just having fun. I will say that I'm, uh, yeah, very much, I'm a lot happier that I am under the tent. <laughs> I'm not adverse to playing in a bit of rain. I'm English. It would be, it would be, you know, weird if I was. But this is a bit much, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's a little much. Like we said, a rainy, cold day in Vienna. Hey, I'm still, I'm still having a great time. First time in Austria, first time at Vienna Spring Break. It's been an absolutely bumper weekend. And that will continue, catching the pool on the full. Spring break. Trust us to come right in the middle of Austrian monsoon season. <laughs> and as you can see right here too, Puerto Rico Grande is trying to implement a zone. I mean, it makes sense. It does. Still a little bit of wind. Disc is going to be slippery, so if you can just force as many passes as possible, that seems like a good strategy and really try and force that short field turnover. But actually, having said that, the Big Easy seem very adept at dealing with this. Little blade oh. over the top. <laughs> Cheeky. Draws some uh, oohs and ahs from the players around us. Transition to one-on-one. -on -one. Underneath cut from Kurl Giffler. Now Garg. Takes the first backhand. Instead, lovely little inside throw, leading maybe a little bit not far in front as it could have been. Vid comes in, got a piece. Did he get it fairly? It's Capanini with that red headband making the defensive effort. So we can see in the replay, it looks like a foul called regardless. Yeah, uncontested, so it's going to stay in Schmid's clutches. Check back in. Trying to isolate the handler to get up the line. Doesn't get it, neither does the second. But it free in the backfield and maybe a push-off foul called potentially. Pitches are playable, so I've definitely been been in worse situations. <laughs> yes. Windmill, the last time we, the last time it happened in uh, 2019, 
was the Saturday morning. We woke up and basically the site was flooded. So much rain in three hours. And then by midday, it basically all drained away. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. But that morning was not particularly fun. I will say that much. Well, it wasn't not fun. It, everything was wet. Yeah. Everything. You're just playing on a muddy pitch at that point. Well, you would be if you were playing. <laughs> I situated myself near the bar. It's a smart decision. Right? It's a smart decision. Mm -hmm. Mike's using the opportunity of uh, lots of people in the tent to <laughs> try and persuade them as to the ways of the Patreon. Any way we can get it. If people donate a couple of euros a month, we can get a bigger tent for more people to stand under. And maybe some protective rain gear as well. Nah. Oh, the high release lefty backhand. A little bit of oh. cheekiness. And then the bid comes flying through to knock the disc away. And maybe a foul call. We'll see it again on the replay. Here's that delicious little high release lefty. Continuation seems open. Oh, ooh. <laughs> That's very close. Glasto rules, send it back, do it again. <laughs> Looks like Coach Cockcock calling for the VAR right there. I will say that we've seen the slow motion replay. Oh. <laughs> he comes flying across very late there. Yeah. I see the, uh, I see both sides viewpoint. They're just going to send it back. There's no point standing there getting wet for ages. Let's play some frisbee. High release and he slips. The pitch monster takes another one. And all of a sudden, now they've got to play some defense. The Big Easy have ventured out of the tent. <laughs> Can Costa Rica's earned one of the Costa Rica Grandes and one of their breaks back here. Oh, oh, just about sneaks it past Garg. I thought that was done for sure. Belofiore. He's going to keep the disc on this stoppage. Just checks back in. Oh, that's, 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 oh, what a ripped snag. Ripped out of the sky by Tidia. And then nice. low, too low for Frizzoni to scoop up. Throw just right behind him there. Alligators are making their way over for the open final. They should be used to this wet weather, being the, being the swamp and river creatures that they are. Van de Muntert. <laughs> Looks like another call too. Somewhere in the end zone, I believe. It's also tight and congested in there. It makes makes sense. Felix has finally got himself out of the rain. And that goal at the front of the end zone by Schmid does count a little bit frustrating because <laughs> that point is be, these points are becoming a bit of a grind now, but it works for 11-6. I think I know what Felix wants. Turns out it was sandwich. I'm sorry I ever doubted you, Corey. It's all right, at that point it was too hard. Oh no, it looks like he wants one of those too. Big shout Stay out to Stay hydrated. Felix. Big shout out to Felix there too, <laughs> staying in the rain. And Nick's still out there as well too. 
I think Phoenix is a bit cold. Other alcoholic beverages are available, unless they sponsor us, in which case they aren't. Again, I know how to play the system. You do? And here we are again. Looks like the rain clouds are kind of passing by for just a little bit. Getting just somewhat kind of a blue sky. So you can see the jet kind of take off in the background. I admire your optimism, yeah. I think that's where the weather's been coming from, so. Makes a little bit of mess of fielding the pool. Yeah. But eventually Semprini Cesare gets it and passes it central. More zone from the Big Easy. Faking that over the top, doesn't like it. Goes around towards the back instead. Low grab. Continuation around. Costa Rica Grande's playing with fire in their own end zone right here in this cup. No, no, fire had lower down the bracket. <laughs> oh, sorry, I know what you mean. Swings. Got him. This is what the big easy one, just to get you trapped on that sideline for the zone. Make your options, make you throw something you might not be too comfortable with. That Bruce Chandler wants throw. the hammer over the top. He's been calling for it for what seems like an age, but he doesn't get it. Essentially, they're just going to swing it his way instead. Nice little dish off there. Off to the races, not quite. And great work of Costa Rica Grande is getting out of that position in the end zone and on the sidelines to kind of just keep pushing it up. Trying to almost rope a dope them here. Lull them into that false sense of security. As that swing hits the turf, this has to go from Calantes. It does to Scolariotis, but it's not quite a, the end zone just yet. He's going to dump the disc off. Players flooding through. And one of them makes the catch. Another break for the Big Easy. 12-6 they lead now. And it ain't over till it's over, but Big Easy very much in the driving seat now. Completely agree with about 13 minutes left to go in this game. Six to 12, the Big Easy. So three points away from the bronze medal. Mentioned the alligators are beginning to emerge to our field, doing some warm-ups just beyond us. You see them on the right, on the left of your picture there. Haven't seen MUC yet, but I'm sure they're around somewhere. Or maybe they're just staying in the bar until the last possible moment. <laughs> Trying to get their hams warm, it looks like. Trying to get their hams warm? Yeah. Stay out of the cold. Mm, warm hams. Here's the pool going up and going deep. Fielded and underway. Rodriguez with a nice scuba over the top from the number 69. And he finds the other man who does it anyway up. Number 96, Ruscello. Semprini Cesare finds an option and it zings down the sideline. And what a grab as well. Just making it look so effortless at the end. What a, a put. flip spike for good measure. What a put on the same third as well, too, on the half. Excuse me. Not a lot of margin yeah. for error, but I mean, right, when you can just nail it like that, doesn't matter. Exactly. 12-7 now the score, and we'll get it again on the replay. And that's tight, too. Like typically with those same third hucks, you can see them kind of come OI from out of bounds and then come back in. But that one was just a, sh a beam line right into the end zone. So 12-7. After Rooney reduced the deficit. Oh, what was a lovely put from Santorini. And an emphatic kick to stop the roll of the pull. Football.
I'm going to say, I wonder which side's going to do better at the World Cup, and then <laughs> remembered. Ah. Uh. Not that I'm poking the bear or anything. <laughs> ah. Ah. Kumri Ambit. Your European champions, huh? Beautiful shot down the sideline there to Vah. And he's just going to pop it into the end zone. Two points now, the big easy need. 13 7. They can almost taste the bronze. What does bronze taste like? Great question. Maybe we have to ask the Big Easy yeah. soon enough. That's a fair point. Now it's a question, too, just to see it's a race to 15 or a race to 10 minutes. It feels like with the rain eased off, these two sides have found their groove a little bit more now. Exactly. And as we see, we've seen the quality from Costa Rica, not just this game, but this tournament. So we know they do have it within them to have the comeback. Whether they can find those reserves at the moment is uh, is another question entirely. And we also see them from the Big Easy too, just the ability to kind of fend off the lead, kind of stick to what they know, and then also continue that level of play too. So it's going to be hard for Costa Rica Grandes to challenge them, but they, they do have the ability to do that as well. You're not in it until you're out of it. Nice little panning shot of a church in the background there from Mike. <laughs> He's been angling after one of those all weekend. And here we go to Costa Rica Grandes with a, a clutch catch right there. Driving it up the field. Easy as it like, you can just see the facilitation of the disc, of their cutters engaging. It's a good word, that facilitation. Adding that one to my lexicon. <laughs> and then just a rare Felix, slip. I might be wrong. <laughs> well, you are going to lose your footing at times when it's this wet and slick out there. And on offense, it's your job to take advantage of that. Just pops it over his head. Nothing he can do. 13 8. as we dindle down on sandwiches right here. I think there's one left for me and one left for Nick. Ah, yes. Hashtag Nick Maths. Big Easy, two points away from a win. And you could say, at times today, they've made it look Hard. Simple. Oh, yeah. So the big easy back on O, and you're right, the sun is definitely bursting through the clouds towards our right. Rainbow incoming. How we've missed you. Speaking of a rainbow, this could be a rainbow pass. Going towards the back of the end zone, over the <laughs> defender's head, <laughs> and into the arms of Marius Hochmeyer. There was another receiver beyond him as well, but I think this might go back. We'll see what the call is too, I wonder. Even if this is a called back, what a pitch perfect throw. The wind up. You could even hear the big easy players on the sideline just say, oh, oh, they knew it was coming.
players taking this opportunity to get a bit of water on, as if they haven't had enough of that this game. <laughs> Bless you over there. Goes on tight. <laughs> so we do have video available, but of course the players are not obligated to use it. And it looks like the players <laughs> do consult the VAR for this one. Go into the monitor for the replay. I maintain my stance from earlier. Glasto rules. Do it again. Violation <laughs> because not everyone was ready to go. <laughs> Still no sign of MUC. I do hope they know that they're supposed to be playing next. Otherwise it could be a very one-sided final. Does he want the big again? Maybe he does, but he oh, very nearly had that deed, but just gets it past. So close. Oh, trying to deal with Bello Fiore on the mark. Deals with him well. This time the big is going again. It's Hogmeyer deep again. Oh. oh, and he flubs the catch. He could have been a contender. He could have been somebody. <laughs> he did it the first time. It looked like that time, just trying to make sure that the feet were inbound as well, too, and just taking some concentration away from the catch. The first game I ever commentated was at under-23s in 2015. Open quarterfinal, Austria versus Japan. And an Austria player drops a wide open catch in the end zone. And someone in the stands just shouts at the top of his voice, everybody saw you do that. And it was the most devastating put down I've ever heard. What a way to shame somebody. Oh my goodness. Big easy get the disc back there as the hooter goes for time. Finish the point and add one. So, if the big easy put this in, we'll have a game to 15 anyway. Things the inside through there. Continuation towards the break side. Finds its target past the bidding defender. It's Ferdinand Hayes with the grab. So, 14 8, game to 15. Comeback time, question mark? It's not out of the books. We still got it. Nothing is impossible. And if I look to my left, I can see that the Munich Ultimate Club have arrived, ready for the final. first of two finals of course the open final with the women's final between box and troubles taking place afterwards of course and as you can see too we've streamed both of these teams for both finals we're very excited for this game as well too and those games and just kind of getting everything rocking and rolling to bring you the best coverage So, one more point for the hometown side, the Big Easy, to medal at their own event. Spa halts with the spin pool. I don't think this is going to come back in. It got close, closer than I originally thought, but uh, not quite close enough. Rimini cannot afford to turn over now. Oh, and that might do it. Galantes getting a hand in there. He's had a very good game. And they're on the move. Sparholtz to Galantes for the bookends. And 15 8, the Big Easy, take the bronze medal over Rimini's Costa Rica Grandes. At the Vienna Spring Break. Yeah, a Viennese whirlwind ripped through the skies here and the Big Easy were able to ride it out.
They put up a, um, a, a, a creditable fight, their Italian opponents. They've dazzled and sparkled at times during this tournament. But today, in this game, the Big Easy had too much for them. So, there's only two more games left now this weekend. And both of them are finals. We're sticking with the Open Division now, with Alligators, who had a universe point win over the Big Easy in the semi-final, taking on the Munich Ultimate Club, who had a universe point win in the semi-final of their own over Costa Rica Grandes. And that starts in about a little over five minutes' time. So don't go anywhere, because Vienna Spring Break, it's finals time, is on the other side. <laughs> 